If you're hearing a clicking noise when you're pedaling your bike, take off the shrouds and then look at this aluminum pulley here. Check to see if it's crooked to either side. It should be centered between these two brackets. So using a 15 millimeter wrench, loosen the two nuts on both sides. So right now we put it in a situation where this aluminum pulley is tilting to this side. So to change that, we're going to rotate this. And as we're doing that, we're gonna occasionally check the crank and turn it and listen to see if the noise of the clicking reduces. And if it has, continue tightening it. The whole point is to get this to be aligned and centered right here to prevent the parts from wiggling against each other and making this aluminum pulley rattle. There's a second bolt on this side that you can also tighten or loosen. You wanna make sure that the amount of thread sticking out here and on the other side is about the same because that means the pulley will be mostly aligned and will be pulling this belt evenly. Before you retighten these two nuts on the, these two sides, uh, get on the bike and pedal. When you're pedaling, uh, you may feel that this belt is slipping on you. To check for that, you go to the knob up there, you put it at the highest resistance level, and then you pedal. You should give sudden forward thrusts while pedaling. If you feel the pedals slip while you're doing that forward thrust, that means uh, this belt is not tight enough, so you would have to evenly tighten these two sides up to put more tension on this belt so that it grips the flywheels and the pulleys. To make sure you have this tightened, just come to the nuts and just to tighten them evenly, line up with the frame and then give it a half rotation. Do the same thing on this side, give a half rotation, give it a test, see if it still slips. If it still slips, just continue that process until you reach a point where it no longer slips and then you'll be good and hopefully your noise will have stopped by aligning this pulley and then just retighten these two nuts with the 15 millimeter wrench and replace the covers.